I'm Olive Blade and a very warm welcome to my wonderland this week. So, earlier this week I was pondering on what I should do for this week's video theme and then it dawned upon me this box that has been hanging over my head because I've been dying to unbox this for a few months and but I have not got the right opportunity so I'm finally going to bring it out now and unbox it. So as you can see, I ordered this from Anime Works, and at the time when I ordered both of these items, so oh <laughs> goodness, what am I doing? <laughs> yes, it looks like they previously transported beautiful figures in this. Anything arrived unbroken. I wonder what they posted recently. Recently, anyway. being over four months ago. Take it away, fourth person perspective. Don't you worry, believe me, I am. <laughs> Now then, without further ado, let's get out the knife and crack open this box. I obviously was excited and went a bit too heavy on the knife because look how deep I got there. Oh, that's almost going all the way through. Thank goodness this is professionally packed. Look at all the bubble wrap because if this was very close to the surface or just paper, I probably would have cut the box, I will admit. Now note for myself for next time. Anyway, as you can see, look at the gorgeous pink boxes that have greeted us since I took off the bubble. Oh, I'm so excited. So some of you already know in an earlier video that I had the bunny Rem in this matching set, which took me quite a while that had a bit of a story its own to get here. And the reason I had to wait so long for this is because even though on the site it listed both of these items in stock, they will actually had to get more stock in for the Kumiko. And so I waited a few months. Goodness, I just cleaned the bench to undo this unboxing and I'm already making a mess from cutting open that box. That's what happens when I rip into it, tear into it with a knife. Now then, oh, I'm too keen, let's get them out. I was gonna use the knife to cut off this outer layer of paper, but I think I'm just gonna rip it. Talkie Witch, you saw me just holding it there like this. This is actually quite a weighty Nendoroid box, might I say. Probably due to Kimiko's oh, I am gonna gorgeous spider bot, I presume. <laughs> and oh, her what? expressions. I've, I was so excited to get this Nendoroid. I was meant to get this December last year, but I ended up getting her now. Well, for over four months ago, but I'm opening her finally now. So she, she'll hopefully settle my craving for I'm a spider so what merch until I get her gorgeous scale next year oh. anyway getting on to looking at the first box and I thought I'd open Ram first because why not so then having a look at the box it is exactly the same to the Ram one and it has good some good amount of shots I love the sides and the front but the back has this weird yellow which kind of reminds me of like a a box that's been in, near a window and has had sun damage to it so I'm not a big fan of that yellow and it's kind of humorous to me but apart from that I quite love the box design and I had to, of course before show both stickers of authenticity considering I missed out in my last video of seeing one but um let's crack it open shall we I've been watching my rem on the shelf while watching <laughs> looking at her it's like she's gonna move in toys for her of course not Oh, protective top here, so there, I appreciate it. Oh, hello there. And it's been so lonely. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the colours inside the box, but that doesn't matter. It's that yellow again. <laughs> I think useless instructions, but cute. I mean, it's pretty obvious what you're meant to do, but it's not like it's specific for the particular figure. And the bubbles that are here are quite hard, which you'll see in a moment. But, getting back to my point, I've been looking at Rem on my shelf for the longest time, thinking she looks lo so lonely even though she's up there with Urza and a few others. I need to get the Ram out of the box so they can look complete together. And this was quite... <laughs> this was quite tight as you can see, so I had to gently work my fingers around because God forbid she pops out of the box, not she's going to anyway. But oh they have goodness. packaged her very well and I'm very pleased first look and oh my goodness she looks absolutely stunning a little cheeky snapshot there and of course we have to pull out the most exciting part first the, the base wow 
Okay, just checking on the back the text that you should expect and bringing out the little extra foot support. Man, I love taking off the plastic coverings though, it's kind of satisfying. And I'm like, oh, which one should I put it on? It's pretty obvious. I don't know, you could swivel these little plastic bits at first, but ever since I got my Homer figure, I'm like, okay, we can move those, so shouldn't be any issue putting them on. Taking off the headband. And might as well take off the bunny ears first. Which is super cute. Love it. The kind of I think it's the opposite ones to Rem. She has hers bent on the other side. And I loving the paint job. Here, I love the sculpting because it's like it's sculpted as if it's folded fabric. And they've done a really good job with that. And the colouring on this as well. Very beautiful done. I was a bit unsure with some of the paint job done on my previous Rem figure. So be interesting to see how Ram compares. And I don't know why I was being so gentle with the bubble bit there. I was hoping it would stay in so I could pack the bubble as if it were. But um, oh my goodness, her bunny suit is perfect. Wow, I, I have a few black bunny suits and I think this one is probably the most perfectly painted one I have received. It's just something so satisfying with the perfect shade. I'm just playing around here because the plastic kind of looks like, obviously, a wedding veil. So let's flick that off, shall we? <laughs> there we go. Oh, and I know at first people are like, mm, about her shading of hair, but I actually really love the lighter pink shading. And then they have her natural pink at the back, her tail, so cute, and her tights. Of course, I haven't received anything wrong with any of my bunny figures tights, but the tights, I've got to say, are mighty finely attached there. Her pink eyes are stunning. Looking, I like how the ears are more close to her headband. I think Rem's is a little bit further back and this seems a bit more natural. They're just going straight into her head instead of a band, but anyway, here's a little quick look if you didn't have her without the ears. And I just, I absolutely love this bunny figure of Ram. I have to say, if, if that wasn't apparent already. Popping these in, the first year was easy, the second straight one was a little, took a little bit more to wiggle in as you saw I had to change perspectives to give that a go. And I love these little pieces on the side, the little ribbons, sculpted and put in nicely. I'm always afraid to break these, but... And unlike the Rem figure, her heel doesn't bend back, which is awesome because Rem's kind of bent a little bit and this one just sits naturally flat down. Now, trying to get her on took me a little bit of work, but I... Even though you see a little bit of gap there, I was able to get her down completely, so I'm quite happy with how snug and also aesthetically pleasing she fits on without a bent heel. Very important. <laughs> Here she is all together and as you can tell I am very happy with her. Now then on to oh, Kumiko and Enderoy which I am just dying to hold this thing in my hands. <laughs> Looking at the box, I love the box design. The pink just pops perfect Kumiko pink and you get a perfect view of all the poses you can do with her as well as an epic large image on the front I don't even miss the plastic front pe well plastic window <laughs> opening her up and you are greeted by this awesome pink spidery insert pulling it out and oh this is quite different pulling out the instructions but I quite love how the box this up because I guess she is very different she's not a human so and in the back there, that's where the extra spider background insert is. And I thought, okay, I'll pull that out. And I actually had to fold all insides to pull it out without ripping anything. Because as you know, this cardboard rips very easily. Instructions, classic English and Japanese. And even though she seems like she comes with quite a bit when looking at instructions, it seems like she doesn't. But we'll see. I, I had to have a bit of a laugh at the end because <laughs> that even it's very different to the structure <laughs> of an android. Like, I won't be pulling the head off. I don't... Well, I found out, but here I have no idea about that. But we will get that to that momentarily. So the plastic inserts are in three sections, which is pretty cool. Packed very well. 
but also it isn't taped so it's quite easily to get it out especially after the initial first take it out and oh my goodness finally bringing her out oh, i just got yes, this is it's my week's just too cute flight. oh my god i've been look at oh her. the wait was worth it look at her look at her the butt <laughs> Gosh. though she's meant to be an android she just seems like a, a scaled version of herself which is why I was really excited for this because it, it's like a movable figure of a scaled version of the actual character without it being like chibi or cute but um Anyway, I did try to pull her head off, but don't do that. You're not meant to do that, and I didn't end up pulling it off. Uh, you just pull the plastic off, and looking closely, this is how you pull the face off. I found yeah, maybe pinching it okay. helps a lot. First time was a very, very tricky. Now let's bring out some of the other accessories. <laughs> this is my favorite face. <laughs> As you can tell, I was having a lot of fun unboxing this. Her second face and what I like to call the lightning bolt web. Yes, I had to do a Spider-Man reference. And uh, her poisoned purple glob, which is nicely casted. I love how you've got different transparencies throughout it. You've got a darker and then lighter, depending on the cast. And then also what I like to call her morning star web thing. <laughs> I think they just fit on her little hands or arms, whatever you want to call them. Just slide on and we'll see how secure they are in a minute. That's what holds up her background, the web background. You got her Nendroid peg and also something to hold up the ball. Looking at her face, look at her little dimple. It's sculpted so gorgeously. I didn't show you before, so I had to do a little close up. And the face, it's just such depth and expression. She only comes with two other faces, but I absolutely love what they have done. My only one criticism being that unlike her first face, the, her other faces seams don't fit as flawlessly on her face. See at the side there, the seam is so close and tacked. Unfortunately, I don't know why, but the other ones just have a little bit of more of a gap, which is a little frustrating. But that aside, I just oh, I love her. So I had to put this together just to show you. Having it on the angle there, when she's sit, sitting flat on a surface, everything's quite secure. And <laughs> let's just adjust that there. And oh my goodness, she is just to die for. And the peg fits on quite snugly as well. I'm pretty happy with how they've done that. And the base is about the same size as the ReZero Beatrice Nendoroid. Now then, without further ado, let's go into a showcase so I can show you more of these gorgeous details.
gorgeous seductive rem of course <laughs> right then now then forgive my cringeness sorry not sorry let's do a bit of a, a little bit of a comparison and have my little bit of my kumiko section here and i had to bring my rem and ram nendoroids look at them there oh gorgeous ram and as you can see rem's suit is a lot larger it's almost as if they forgot to put the last dark coat of black paint on which mm, i'd still prefer rams but of course rams face is still gorgeous now the best i can do to compare with kumiko's nendoroid is her ichiban kuji acrylic there as white and my set of sega prize figures oh, which are absolutely adorable i won't lie i loved this nendoroid so much and you can see her there with some human nendoroids this honestly, this Kumiko figure does not feel like an android, and oh, I just adore them both so much. I'm so happy I finally got to unbox them. Oh, goodness, having Rem and Ram finally next to each other, they truly do complete each other being twins. So I'm going to be very happy looking up from my computer now and seeing the set together. Now I just have to get Ram's Buy Cute Bunny prize figure because now I have both the large rings. I've got the Rem Buy Cute. I need the Ram now because I ah, gotta complete the set, of course. And so that's wonderful. But my Kumiko, so this is the center of my Kumiko shrine. I've got as much merch as you know as I can from her, and they haven't brought out anything else at this stage. I'm probably gonna have to just patiently wait for her scale ah <laughs> please bring out more i'm a spider so what stuff exclusively kumiko but until then i should be very happy with this nendroid she is just to die for i just want to hold her all the time if i was to have a cheerleader it probably would be kumiko she just this character just inspires me so much she's like the anime deadpool in a way and oh <laughs> so to have her in this cute little like pet size spider form is just absolutely gorgeous love it very much and all her limbs are very articulated well and very strong so apart from her face seams on the side every part of this nendroid at least my version is perfect ram is probably the most perfectly painted bunny i have which is wonderful not that i've had any issues in the past just like little little criticisms but otherwise overall i'm always quite happy with my freeing bunny quality if you are a fan of either of these figures i could not recommend them more to you you'll be very happy or at least listen to me they're just oh they're gorgeous and i'm just adoring the pink as well which I am so excited, it's currently spring down here and my cherry blossom trees have all, they're covered in buds at the moment and they're probably going to come out any day now though I'm hoping they'll hold on a little bit longer because my birthday is in October and I just, I want them to hang around there a bit more but if not, whenever they come out they are well welcome so can't wait to see those beautiful blossoms Anyway, that's it for this week Thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you enjoyed my video as much as I did, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Until next week, look after yourself. Don't forget to treat yourself, of course, and I will see you then. Bye!